My name is John Myatt, John Lawrence Myatt, and currently I'm making a living as a painter. I paint my own paintings and I paint other paintings in the style of other artists. I'd always actually copied painting, strange enough. I'd always, I've got my own way of painting, but I was always interested in the way that other people did it. And I wanted, I was like a kid who takes a clock to pieces, you know, and then they're left with a few gears on the foot. But that was me. I just wanted, how do you do that? And um, so it was a thing I'd always done. And I didn't feel any sense of, you know, there was anything wrong in doing it. It was just another thing that artists did. And frankly, they always have done. Artists have always copied um, as a way of learning. One of my customers took one of my paintings into Sotheby's and Christie's. It got valued at uh, 25000 and that sort of changed what had been a quite a upfront little business into the beginnings of a rather unfortunate criminal endeavour, which went on too long and uh, ended up in with me going to Brixton Prison, and um, and yeah, and led to a rather unhappy time in my life. It seemed very strange to me that anybody who who'd got a background in in um, art history or any kind of expertise would authenticate anything I'd done, but they did. Well, the police actually told me that uh, altogether I'd, uh, there were 200, there were 200 paintings of mine in circulation of which they had recovered 80. Uh, so by simple sort of subtraction, you can figure out that there are 120 paintings by me um, in the style of, or assumed to be by other artists, which are, of course, uh, fakes. The longer they're out there, the least likely they are to be, what shall I say, uncovered, discovered. Um, and I've got absolutely no um, no interest in, in, in... I wouldn't trust my own judgment after all this time to say, oh yeah, I remember doing that. I think the, low, the lowest of all points was when I came out. And I just thought, well, what am I going to do now? And... It really was so strange that the, the the police officer who'd run the case against me, you know, turns into my first customer and then the foreman of the jury and, and then a few barristers and people sort of get in touch via this policeman, actually, who's handling the whole thing at that time. And before I know where I am, at six months after coming out of prison, I've got £10,000 in the bank. Possibly one of the perils of forgery and fakery is that your own creativity is sacrificed on the altar of trying to paint like Gainsborough or trying to paint like Van Gogh. If if I lost the the sense that I want to paint something, I think I would, if that inner fire thing had gone, I would be a very sad old chap, very sad. Just painting like Vermeer, just painting like Chardin, just painting like Cezanne, well, so what? What about painting like you, you know? And so I've been lucky that that I'm not a particularly good painter in my own kind of field of painting. I'm just okay, but I, I like what I do to some extent and I enjoy what I do and I'm damn glad that I haven't killed off my only my little, you know, inner spark of meanness um, during the whole process of being a not very successful crook.